Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Marish Channel. Today we'll be discussing the idea of is the RAM that we use on our laptop affects the speed of our laptop. So if we've got an 8 gigabyte RAM, is it the same as having a 16 gigabyte RAM or a 32 gigabyte RAM? So that's what we're going to do now. So here we go. We're going to open up our uh, videos. We've got a few 4K videos that I've got here. So let's go to RAW. These are all 4K videos, very large files. Open this one here. So at the moment, this is about about five minutes each. We've got about 30 minutes worth of 4K video. If we open Alt Control Delete on here, let me just lower the volume a bit. We'll find out that we are using 23% of our memory and only 10% of our processor, which is our GPU. So 25% memory, 10% GPU. It's not bad. What we're going to do now is we're going to give we're going to leave it open, running, and we're going to open our editing software, which is NCH Video Pad. I use it to edit all my programs and all my videos. Campfire. All these are going to be loaded. This is the time it takes for these videos to be loaded on a 16 gigabyte laptop. I've got 16 gigabyte. So here we go. If I open here now, we'll find that our GPU is starting to heat up. The fans are starting to kick in. Our memory is still at 25% hasn't used all of our memory but we're gonna make it we're gonna give it the full beans we're gonna start editing all of that footage still loading by the way so if I press play it's gonna need to render all this stuff let's see now what is our GPU doing 60% and 30% RAM alright now comes the hard bit we're gonna put on top of these videos the same videos I wanna give this laptop basically the the full works as they say oh yeah now we're getting it the fans have kicked in which is a good sign it means that the processor is heating up wow look at that we've got 100 percent processor cpu the ram is still 30 percent i don't know why but now we're gonna do the final test which is exporting all of that and this is where the laptop really struggles because you're relying on the ram for all of that stuff that is unsaved this is all unsaved so there is no hardware copy of it it's all on the ram if i close it it won't save so now if we look at our task manager it's 100 percent cpu the processor is giving it all it has the memory is going to go up again but still i'm a bit surprised that the memory is only at 36 percent i'm not sure why let's open another program okay here's my game Let's open Trackmania. How is our task manager doing? Still at 37, 38. We're going up. Just want to let it run in the background while it's playing. That's the whole point of this video, guys. Stick with me. Here we go. We are playing now. <coughs> okay, we're going to let this run in the background. And we're going to go back to our 50%. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to open another game which is going to be Tom Clancy requires a lot of RAM so we've got a 4K video playing in the background a game playing in the background a video is editing here and our task manager is reading only 50% memory but I don't understand why the RAM is still at 50% why doesn't it utilize the whole of the RAM doesn't it need it I'm gonna stop it here and then I'm going to install my 32 gigabyte RAM. At the moment we're using 16 gigabyte RAM. I'm going to install a 32 megabyte RAM. As you can see, the export is extremely slow. As you can see here, it's extremely slow. And we're going to be doing exactly the same thing, but with different RAM. So this is the RAM that I went for. It's 32 gigabyte DDR4, 266 megahertz, 2666 megahertz. There's a lot of screws here, guys. There's about 20 of them. There we are. There we go. Okay, so here is our RAM, guys. Here is our RAM. One, two. Here's my first 8 gigabyte RAM. I bought one that has 32 RAMs here. This is 32, this is 8. Let's try now with two RAMs. So we've got 40 gigabyte RAM in total. It's locked. Okay, let's. Uh, try without closing it all the way just one screw is enough so now I'm gonna open the system and see what does it say about my RAM have I got enough RAM 
so I have in here 40 gigabytes of RAM installed physical memory well done guys it has done it. so we continue our test our test continues the same program again we had our video pad open and we're gonna test now the speed and see how long will it take to load these files while it's doing that wow that is fast that is fast do you remember how slow it was in the beginning now this is speed right there let's see how much RAM are we using we're using 9% of our RAM in our previous test we had about 30% of our RAM running this is much much faster experience now what we're gonna do is again we're gonna open one of the big videos and we're gonna let it play in the background so we're gonna open this one so now we have we're gonna put all our videos down here and we're gonna see how long will it take for them to render just like we did in the previous it's like we did in our previous uh, episode how's it doing yeah our GPU CPU is going up memory is still 11 so let's play and see how long is that good enough yeah it seems to be okay all right let's do the second test that we did we played two videos on top of each other so we're gonna do that again we're gonna open trackmania turbo how is our CPU our CPU is 100% memory is at 15% which is obviously a lot better than what it was in the beginning <coughs> right trackmania is loading now what we're gonna do is while the game is running we're gonna produce our video guys so let's put that from the beginning okay now we're gonna how is the system doing 100% <coughs> CPU 13% RAM compared to the previous one it's about half which makes sense now we're running many heavy programs in the background okay let's start producing the video now and see what type of speeds are we gonna get there is a noticeable increase in speed noticeable increase I have to say that so far it is worth the money if you would if you were to go with the results that we have in here it is worth the money for something as cheap as it am it's definitely a good investment pay your 50 pounds pay 100 pounds get the fastest RAM you can afford stick it in there and and see your laptop let's put test 2 again 4k 30 frames per second create let's see how fast this will be it's still very slow it is still very slow but the good news is loading takes a bit shorter mm. what can I say I think the result is yes and no yes it does offer a bit of an advantage it makes your, your laptop a little bit faster perhaps 10-20% faster but it also relies on the processor as you can see how fast your processor is my processor is only uh, I'm using the the 750H i7 9750H and obviously it's going on full max speed 100% the RAM is not doing much it's only 18% it does help a little bit I think invest in a good processor and then invest in good RAM I hope this video found it useful if you have any comments please write me down below I'm not an expert in IT I studied biomedical science I am a scientist I slice stuff human tissue parts so I don't know anything about laptops but I know just enough what I see basically thank you very much see you in the next episode thank you for watching this episode if you did like it please subscribe to my channel here's the subscription button and also don't forget to choose another video from this list so you can watch another one and enjoy as well please leave a comment down below i always reply to your comments and i'll see you in the next episode peace